Ah. What am I doing, Jeff? You're warming your testicle by the fire. I am. I am. But I just noticed as I was doing it that this uh, skeleton we have of this, uh, um, uh, what'd you call it, uh, dinosaur. It's a dinosaur, yeah. It looks a little bit like, you know that thing that Wendy Williams does? You okay. know that? How you doing? Yeah. Well, look at this. Look, look. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? See, you think things are new, but, you know, perhaps people have been doing how you doing for years. Yeah, since the dawn of time. Since the dawn of time, people have found a way of going, how you doing? How, how you do, how you do? I'm all right, I suppose. I, I'm going on Wendy Williams' show next week. Oh, I'll is that right? I'll ask her if she got it from a dinosaur. I'm sure she'll love that. Yeah, no, no, I didn't mean that. I oh, mean, I maybe she saw it in a movie, yeah. like maybe an outtake of Jurassic Park, sure. and one of the dinosaurs came up and went, how are you doing? Yeah, I remember that. That is in the deleted scenes, that's right. In the deleted scenes. Have you got the DVD? I, of course I do, of course. Uh, that DVD, by the way, kids, is something that used to uh, exist before you stole Crikey. from the internet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. But now... Now, though, now you don't even have to steal stuff because uh, they just give it away. People are very angry at you, too, apparently, for giving away that album. They gave it away. They said, yeah, they gave go. it away, but everybody's like, you, too, are giving away an album. I'm like, why are people mad? I don't understand. Why are they mad? I don't know. I, because I think, I think you, too, was taken care of. I don't think they gave it away. Oh, you think that perhaps there was a corporate check for there was YouTube. some sort of exchange. So you're saying to me that these musicians, uh, world famous musicians, yes, very popular right. musicians, got paid for their music? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> well, I can see the outrage. I... <laughs> so they were paid a lot of money, and then, but that, that uh, cost was absorbed by the giant company that can afford it so that fans of the band could get the music for nothing. That's right. Those bastards! <laughs> can we do something about this? How dare you pay the How artist? How dare you, you Irish bastards, with your... Oh, no, it's all right, just take it. No, fine, on you go. Oh, well, hi, diddly D, and kiss my ass. Yeah. I will pay my... How much is it for music now? I don't know, it's a couple of bucks. Ten bucks. Ten I will bucks. pay my ten... ten appropriate bucks. amount of dollars... <laughs> ...for the music, thank you. Don't give it to me for free. I'll, I'll pay you double for it. I'll raise you. As my own. Yeah. I will raise you as my own. I will take the skeleton and teach him the ways of the Scotsman. Begin. Ha. 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 How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? The force is strong with this one. <laughs> Sponsored by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at geico.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. much better than last night's audience, aren't oh, yeah. they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I'll tell you what was exciting for me tonight. Before I come out, I'd like to say hello to the ladies and gentlemen before the show. And I came out, and in Lesbian Row tonight, and one of the lesbians saluted me. <laughs> See, I said, nice Lesbian Row. Yeah, the, the, the centre, ginger lesbian in the centre. She did this, she did this thing. Yeah. She, she did it again, she did this. And I was like, that's when you know you're doing well. Yeah, when the, when the lesbian gives when you the When the lesbian salute, salute, which is incidentally the title of my new autobiography. That's right, that's right. When the lesbian salute, my life and show business <laughs> the way I wish it had been. Is that coming out next year? Is that going to come out, that book? Is the book going to come out? <laughs> oh, I see what you did. <laughs> Yeah. I see what you did. Top shelf. <laughs> you, you, it was a play on words with yeah, come up. Play on yeah, words, yeah. I see, that's yeah. why you're the appliance yeah. and I'm just the guy who dances for nickels. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, I'd like to get you drunk. <laughs> what? No, never mind. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. Friday, of course, is Friday. It's Friday, as you can tell from my Friday night tie. Yeah, that's how you know. That's, that's how you know. know. Red tie, Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> great day for America. Not a great day for a man in Tennessee who was arrested after he accidentally butt-dialed 911 while he was discussing a drug deal. <laughs> it's bad enough, but... You, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, what I want you to do is uh, bring me kilos of drugs. This is his butt dialing. This is his butt, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know you've got a drug problem when your ass stages an intervention. Yeah, that's, not, that's not good. <laughs> you know, I, I really think you're going a little crazy up there. That's the ass talking. That's the ass yeah. talking up there, yeah. <laughs> Should I have done a different voice? No, you just... You never... What, with German, maybe? You know, yeah, I good. really that's think good. you have a problem. <laughs> Much better. Thanks. Anyway, if you know anything about me, you know today is the day I look forward to all year. I'm very excited about what's happening today. It's a big movie opener. I'm very excited to see it. Dolphin Tale 2. <laughs> or, or as it's called in the dolphin world, <laughs> 2. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the audience is very impressed that I can do that noise, apparently. It's very impressive. All your favorite characters from the first Dolphin Tale movie are back. Uh, there's uh, Winter the Dolphin, Rufus the Pelican, Harold the Turtle. Uh, uh, yeah, Attila the Attila Hun. Attila the Hun. Uh, <laughs> Vlad the Impaler, who's uh, Jabba the Hutt. Sure, yeah, uh, yeah. Honey the Boo Boo. Uh, right. You get any? Uh, Bob the Saget. Bob the Saget. They're all there. Now, the first Dolphin Tail movie was in 3D, but this one isn't. So if you want to see a smooth, slippery creature jump out of your face, there's a place I know in West Hollywood. That's true. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Tell them I sent you, they'll give you a... <laughs> two. <laughs> um, all right, that's enough. Now... Uh, the first Dolphin Tail movie, of course, is a heartwarming story about a dolphin who lost his tail. Uh, I don't know what happens in this movie. I think he loses it again. <laughs> I'm beginning to think this dolphin's just careless. <laughs> anyway, the dolphin is saved by a kind veterinarian played by Harry Connick Jr. Uh, and Harry Connick Jr. fixes the dolphin's tail with the power of smooth jazz. <laughs> That's true. That's true. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Putting on a little tail on the <laughs> on the little dolphin fella. Fix the tail. Fix it. Fix it. The little dolphin. All right, oh, man. I like Harry Connick Jr. He, he sings, he acts, he judges on American Idol. That guy juggles more balls than Elton John on an ecstasy bench. Yep. I mean, he does it. A... And... Wow. <laughs> wow. Was that harsh? I was no, a no, harsh. That was good. That was good. Uh, uh, the Harry Connick Jr., though, he never seems to age. It's, do we, do, it's true. Do we have his baby picture? Look at that. Oh. <laughs> cool. You know who else is in the Dolphin movie? Morgan Freeman. What, what does Morgan Freeman, Freeman say in the movie? Get busy living or get busy dolphin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Freeman. At the end of the movie, when Morgan Freeman probably releases the dolphin into the sea again, so it can lose its tail again. Yeah. Uh, what does he say then? Go free, dolphin, swim and be free, and hook up with some sexy fish ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little dolphin, lost your tail, but it's gonna put another one on. Put another one on. Squeezing that tail, just squeeze that tail. <laughs> We're trying not to sound like any song we could be sued right, for you. Right, want to get sued. Last night, I nearly sang the Death Star music and got into a lot of trouble. Yeah, you really, you upset. George Lucas was very upset. He was very upset. What did he say again when he was upset? Cut it out. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very upset. I'm very upset. Commercial break? Sure, why not? More blowholes and sexy fish ass after this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> time is Jeffrey Pearson. It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who uses the power of smooth jazz to heal the creatures of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Play the jingle, would you? Here comes the jazz. Yeah. They're so fast. Up all night and feeling lonely, making lots of macaroni. Chop your fork and get right to it. Crank the one to see you through it. Hello. Both, so don't despair. Use your fingers, use your toes, use your boobies. I've got those. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. All right, uh, this is from uh, Lana in East Lansing in Michigan. Yeah, oh, oh, beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. What, East Lansing? No, the, she, the picture there, just a gorgeous... Oh, yeah, yeah, gorgeous. she, uh, very stri striking looking. Striking. <laughs> very strong feet. Uh, all right, uh, Lana says, Craig, uh, did Justin Bieber actually leave his monkey in Germany, or are you making a, that up as a joke? No, he did, remember? He did. That's true. Yeah, he That's went to Germany, he's like, hey, what's up, everybody, eh? And then, Because uh, he's Canadian. Canadian, he's Canadian, yeah. yeah. Canadians love uh, me to remind everyone that Bieber is Canadian. Right, yeah. <laughs> Because they're so proud of him. Yeah. <laughs> what up? What up, eh? That was good. Yeah. Like, what up, eh? eh? Oh, 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 yeah. I'm so tough. <laughs> I'm so tough. He is very tough. He's, He's very, very tough. tough. You see that? Yeah, that little guy there? He's yeah, so tough. he needs us. Yelling smack at people. Mouth, I'll smack that kid right in the mouth. Well, you, you want to. Give him a good smack. You want to smack I'm Justin tired Bieber? Of him. I've had enough of his crap. I've, I've never heard you express a desire to commit violence ever. Well, this, if there's one person that I'd like to smack, <laughs> it's Justin Bieber. Well, you could probably kick your ass, man. And I'd probably like it. And we come full circle. Yeah, you understand. All right, then. Well, uh, yes, uh, his monkey was left in Germany. Uh, oh, excuse me. they don't hang up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, who, who is it? Oh, hello. I was almost going to hang up. Is this Justin Bieber's monkey from yeah, Germany? Yeah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, I am the monkey. I see you've become German. Yes, because uh, as you know, I was left in Germany by Justin Bieber, eh? Oh, but you've still got a little bit of your Canadian Yes, accent. I cannot quite shake the Canadian. How are you, Craig? Yes, this is great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, everything all right? Oh, I am here slowly peeling the banana. <laughs> <laughs> Click. All right, this is uh, from Alison, who is age nine in Deer Park, Long Island. Oh, boy. Really? What? All right. What the hell? 
Craig, my mom is sending this tweet to you. I was wondering, have you ever gone away to summer camp when you were a kid, and were you scared? <laughs> First of all, can, I, can you just go out the room a minute, Alison? I, I want to just talk to your mom. So on you go, baby. Just to go, go get a, a juice from the refrigerator. I just want to talk to your mom. <laughs> what the uh -oh. do you think you're doing? watching this show. They got shows for kids all over today. They got channels devoted to kids. This is a this is a late night show for creepy perverts who can't sleep. <laughs> and you do not. Hey, listen, hey, listen. I'm not I'm not saying I couldn't do a show for, you know, a more kind of family oriented yeah. show, but this isn't it. <laughs> Hi, baby, you back? You got some juice? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I never went away to summer camp uh, when I was a kid. I grew up in Scotland, and uh, we didn't have summer camp. We only had a potato. And... <laughs> <laughs> and we would, you know, some of us would go there for the summer next year. We would stand next to the potato. <laughs> and by summer in Scotland, of course, I mean an afternoon in July. Right. <laughs> and then, uh, was I scared as a kid? Well, I, as I say, I, I grew up in Scotland. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you'll be fine, sweetheart. That's fine. You know, if you want a call, there's a special number you can call about your mommy. It's called Child Services. <laughs> yeah. yeah. CBS cares, CBS apparently. Cares. Okay. Uh, this is from Fred in Apple Valley, uh, Virginia. This is from Blair in Tucson, Arizona. This is from Glenn in College Station, Texas. This is from Danny in Lafayette, Louisiana. This is from Colleen in Idaho. Those are I'm sure they're all great. Yeah, that's right. But we're out of time. We won't be reading any of those. We're out of I can't. I can't. I can't. I've lost the notion. I'm worried about Alice, the nine-year-old girl that's gone off to camp. <laughs> Go outside and play with your potato. <laughs> Go on, young Craig. Stand by that potato out there. <laughs> it's a perfectly cold summer day out there. Go on. Put on your little shorty shirt, you fat bastard. <laughs> Fantastic singer. She's got a charity sale on the Guilt website starting October the 1st, and her latest album, I'm Not Falling, is out now. Please welcome the absolutely spectacular Nikki Reed, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Quite an entrance. I, uh, you just pointed out that you could see my stomach. I didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't say stomach. I said tummy. I said I could see your tummy. Do you think that that's a more flattering? Yes, tummy's a nice thing to say. It's friendly and not creepy in any way. <laughs> the danger we'll in my we'll job is, you know, when you're talking to beautiful women who are, you know, you, you, you don't mention their tummy. You don't? What no, do you, you don't mention their tummy. When Even if you say you. nice tummy, girl. <laughs> If you want, that, that will evoke a very specific response. Well, in that case, Not let me just the say... the one you want. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know you Hi. had a tattoo on your heel. 
Wow, you always notice. Yeah, it's new. It's brand new. Yeah, well, I, it's, it's good. Uh, so thanks. Nice. I'm it's... glad my feet are the thing you chose to look at just now. Your feet are not the thing I chose to look at, but I'm not allowed to talk about the first thing I saw. So you tell me the areas which are up for discussion. What, uh, nice hair? Have you got a new shampoo? Is that it? Is that all I get? First of all, how are you? I'm good, baby, thanks. Does how anyone ever ask you that? Not so much okay. anymore. Here I am. We did therapy last time mm. I was here, so we don't have to do that again. Well, you see, the thing about therapy is... Extended. And, uh, that that was, that, yeah, that, really did I get weird for a minute there? <laughs> for me, yeah, Depends as well. the definition of weird. Well, we we're, were friends, and then it we're was really there. really good friends. Yeah, and then it was there too long. Wait, we're such good friends that I was supposed to go with your wife. Yeah to your house in Scotland. Yeah, and you didn't go. You didn't call. I did. Do you, are we having one of those moments where like you're gonna pretend you have the wrong no, number? No, 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 I don't. Well, okay, you tell me your exactly right telephone number right now. <laughs> no, and I'm- And you take your no, clothes you off. No, you, de you definitely. <laughs> No, you definitely did. You definitely, well, listen to what- No, it needs to happen, it will happen. Well, it, it can happen, happen anytime you like. Family vacation. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Come on over, meet the folks. <laughs> See the potato. The <laughs> hey, who was the, uh, you were talking to a Swedish, that was a Swedish monkey? Uh, German. Wasn't German. German. No, wasn't Justin German. Bieber left his monkey in Germany. I, I'm not surprised. I, <laughs> That makes sense. He was in Germany and the Germans were like, you know, this is dangerous for some monkey, we are keeping it. Is that your German? Well, you, you clearly have a problem with my German accent. I just want to know where you've, this is a bit dangerous for some monkey, we should keep some monkey? Yeah. It's like I was in Germany there for a minute when you did that. <laughs> well, you don't like my German accent? No, I love it. Listen, are you going to buy um, the, the color? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the point. Are you going to buy the leash and collar? I don't know if you have animals. If you don't, I do. I, I do have sure three, three dogs. Purpose. Three dogs. Oh. Yeah. Well, then you can put the fish. collar three on dogs, the dog. Three dogs, two fish. <laughs> that's, yep, that's it. No. Uh, are they friends? <laughs> The, well, they, they, you know, the, one of them invited the other one to his house in Scotland, and then, you know, they, uh, so it's weird right now. Oh, right, I read, the, I'm going to write the next chapter to that story. I'm going to write the next chapter. Okay, no, they are, why do you ask about my dogs and fish? Well, I didn't ask about the fish. Well, you said, do you have animals? Fish are animals, last Only time I checked. Only because you should buy the, the collar and, uh, and the leash, because all of, 100% of the proceeds go to the ASPCA, so. Okay, yeah, I'll do it, and that'll be three collars. Put me down for three collars and three leashes, it's fine. What, do you want oh. them for free? No, 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 I'll pay for him. Okay. Why did, did I look like I wanted them for free? I don't know, did he? Did I give a, a sort of kind of like, hey, can I have them for nothing? I didn't say that. I, yeah, I know, it's what a thing that... It's, it's like a, your flirt, like the piano with the, it's the little... It's always nice when approaching a young lady you haven't seen for a while. To say, yeah. I like your tummy. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah that is nice. That was good. Nothing creepy about that at all. And then she no, does that. no. No, there's nothing. See, if you do the invisible piano, girls aren't scared. <laughs> they oh, bless him, clearly he's insane. Um, so it's fine. Mm hmm. And then I do this. Oh, come on. Why are you staring at me? I'm that? just, I was looking at the album cover. You're looking very grumpy on the album cover. Okay, what the hell? It's hell's not grumpy. Why it's, don't you do a smiley very, face? It's serious. The music is serious. <laughs> Well, you get to see me like this, so don't you want to see me like that every once in a while? Sure. Looking grumpy? Yeah, I always want... Character. Nothing I like more than seeing an angry woman. Because <laughs> uh, I've never seen that in my life. No. No. I've seen a lot. I, look, I'm not saying uh, it wasn't my fault it? or anything. Have you listened hey, to it? Hey, what? This? Have you listened to it? Yeah. No, but I will. Okay. I will listen to it because I've just got a deck. I've just got vinyl. I'm, I'm going back to vinyl. You just got vinyl. Yeah, I'm just go I'm going back to vinyl. I'm, What'd I'm, you start with? Well, you know, I started with vinyl and then I, and then I got Honesty. into the... Honesty. Yeah, and then Honesty. I'm going back to vinyl. Okay, well, yeah. good. Well, I'll give you one, you know. We'll trade. What do you... Wait. What are we trading for? <laughs> you, I thought you were Such just... Such a giver. I thought you, you said you were going to give me that, and I said I was going to listen to it, and you said it's serious. No, I said, and... did you listen to it? Well, I, not yet, <laughs> but, I, but I will. Okay, uh, look, see, in the inside, look at the band. They're all smiling. I look. know, everyone's smiling. They're like, ah, yeah, I know it's serious music, but we're it's drunk. It's a good smile. Yeah, so... It's a good... <laughs> 
It's a good smile. Like they're all happy. Were you drinking backstage? Was I? No, you'd yeah. know. No, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah no, I, I haven't. Because that last time, yeah, I remember, yeah. Uh-huh. You too. I think I stopped drinking before you were born. We have had this conversation. Do you know we have the same birthday? Yeah, yeah, I know. You knew that? I tweet you on every year on the birthday. I wish you happy birthday. <laughs> you, me, Bob Saget, Trent Reznor, and Enya. That's who has it. Wait. We're the 17th of Mazers. Bob Saget? Oh. Wait, wait. You didn't say Trent Reznor? You go straight for Saget? <laughs> Trent Reznor! This is really... So what are we going to do? Are we going to have joint birthday parties? Yeah, let's have a party with me, you, Enya, Bob Saget, and Trent Reznor. And, like, we'll go nuts and get a potato. We'll go crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'll show my tummy. Show your tummy. I'll... I'll play the invisible piano. People will love this. I like this. it. You guys, just so you know, there's a hundred people here that are going to hold you to that. What, that part? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You Listen. can leave me another voicemail, another one of those, and uh, I I'll call you I can't believe you're doing this and trying to make it look like me. <laughs> don't, I don't like when this, when we do this. It upsets me. Sorry. <laughs> See how well we communicate? <laughs> we don't even need therapy. Well, no, we do a little bit. Now, um, but no, next 17th of May, I don't know if you've been following the news or anything, but uh, if you can find me, let's have a party. Um, okay, should we, I mean, you know. But we'll end this. So no. <laughs> It is actually time for a commercial break. This is break. like every date we go on, this is what happens. Yeah, it's, it's not a date. It's not a date. It's not a date. It's about music. <laughs> Serious music. And you're going to come back and play some serious music. We I'm are getting my serious face. Yeah, yeah. You're going to play the serious music with mm -hmm. your happy drunk band. <laughs> I, re I should probably go check on them, actually. <laughs> now well, that you mention we'll it. take a commercial break and you go and try and sober up your band and we'll put the whole thing together. Three minutes. No, Three no, minutes. no, no. No, I've got another guest first and then, and then you. So you got time. Oh, my God. <laughs> have loads that was very William Shatner, if you don't mind the show. <laughs> Yeah. I just did a film with Wayne Shatner. He's great, isn't he? He's crazy. I uh, know, I love him. But that was very, you went, oh my God. Yeah, I just... <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, we like... should call, let's call William Shatner. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wow, I didn't he's, know. Uh, he again. actually uses a phone just like this. <laughs> oh, wait, he, somebody's calling here. Hello? Hello, it's William Shatner. <laughs> Bill. I just want to say, you hey, have. Wait, I was, hi. Beautifully sculpted abs. <laughs> That is the way to talk to a woman. Hi, caramba. Shatner. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Take your eat, everybody. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. is a best-selling author, his latest novel, The Lewis Man. Uh, let's get some music for the books. Come on, uh, you've got to sell them a bit. The Lewis Man. <laughs> yeah. It's on sale now. Please welcome Peter May, everybody. Peter May. See you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Great to see you too. I'm sorry, I didn't understand a word of that. Uh, Peter. God, man, you've lost your touch. Wait, you know it's funny. <laughs> they say to me when I go back to Scotland, you don't sound Scottish anymore. Uh, do you think I sound Scottish? Yeah, I was listening to you on the on the monitor there when you were doing the previous interviews, and you sound very Scottish. Well, there you are yeah. then. I know. 
know. People in America are like, well, it sounds Scottish to us. And then they're back home, like, you're not Scottish anymore. <laughs> so, uh, listen, uh, full disclosure, I'm only about 40 pages into this. Uh, mm. I've got to the part where, spoiler alert, they find the tattoo of Elvis yes. on the thing. Because <laughs> they dig up this body and they think it's an archaeological find and it's thousands of years old. And then the pathologist finds a tattoo of Elvis and everybody goes, oh, it's a murder that was committed. Well, you know the story you wrote. Oh, la, la. Fuck, yeah. Well, that's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good, though. But uh, you're a dark man. Am I? Well, not, not physically, obviously, I mean, but no. the. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you you have some uh, some inner demons, I, I suspect. Oh, yes, everybody has their inner demons. I have them in abundance. Do you think Scottish people have them more than other people? Oh, for sure, yes. Dark people, the Scots. Yeah. Did you ever go uh, to the potato when you were a child? <laughs> uh, I did actually. Yes. Uh, did you? Did you? Do you still live in Scotland? Uh, no, I don't. Where do you live? I live in France. Ah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 huh? Yep, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> the north part of France and the south of France? Uh, southwest. Yeah, you are rich, aren't you? <laughs> I wish. Oh, come on. I mean, you sell a lot of these. Now, the Lewis, Lewis the, of which you speak is the island, of course, off the northwest coast of Scotland, the Isle of Lewis. That's right, yeah. Full of uh, what Scottish people call tuchters. Tuchters. Uh, right. Or what Glaswegian people call uh, Scottish people are too. Glaswegians, like me, <laughs> call them tuchters. Yes. Uh, which are kind of people that talk like that. Aye. And perhaps have the Scottish equivalent of a banjo, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but they, of course, would call me a... A uh, Sassenach, probably. Oh, no, they wouldn't. Aye. No, they call me a Keeley, Glasgow Keeley. That's Glasgow what they call Keeley, Yeah, aye. they wouldn't say Sassenachs for English people. Well, no, a Sassenach's a lowlander. Is it? Aye, as well as an Englishman. I didn't think that I was... I, I've never been called a Sassenach in my life that it didn't involve some kind of uh, fists flying. <laughs> No, I, I didn't. Th really? That, is that true? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Well, depends where you drink, you see. Well, I don't anymore, though. That's the thing. Uh, well, you know. Everybody's happy about that. There's not been one single complaint. <laughs> Even in Scotland, they're like, no, it's for the best if he doesn't... <laughs> for the best. Oh, aye. I think we're all happy he stopped with the drink. I was mad with the drink. Are you mad with the drink, Peter? Uh, I have been known to be, yes, yes. a little. But anymore? Are you still at it? Uh, oh, I'm always at it. I, um... <laughs> Uh, it's the wine. I love the wine. You well, see. you're in France. Living in France. Yeah. And, and uh, I've been writing about wine, and I, I went and took a, a course in wine tasting. What, is it a novel about wine? Uh, well, it is. Well, yes, actually, it is. It's set in the world of wine. Yes. <laughs> Somebody dies in a wine vat, and then they find well, a tattoo of Elvis on the... Well, uh, yeah, you're, you're almost right, aye. Uh, what, somebody drowns in wine? Uh, yes. I nearly did. Did you? <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what happens in the book you're writing right now? No, it's not the one I've written right now, but uh, I wrote it a few years ago. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I remember now. But I had, to, right. I, had to, <laughs> I, I had to go and do a lot of research for that, you know. Right. Uh, that, why did you end up in France, then? Why did you go there? Well, I mean, that's a silly question coming from a fellow Scotsman. Why did I end up in France? Because of the winters in Scotland? Uh, aye. Yeah. Uh, the wine's cheaper. Right. Food's better. Um, the wine's cheaper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's not that much. I mean, the food in Scotland's fine now. I've been back to Scotland many times. They've changed it a it's lot. Great it's produce. Good. Great produce in Scotland. Yeah. Uh, it's the cuisine that's, you know, it's cuisine born of poverty. So it's taken right. it's taken them takes time to learn, uh, you know, the techniques of the French. But great raw produce. And also, you know, I've I've been out of Scotland almost twenty years, and I go back a lot. And um, it's really improved a lot in the past twenty years. And I'm beginning to think it was my fault because. <laughs> When I left, it seemed to get better and better. We took the show there a couple of years ago. It was spectacular. I was like, wow, this is a great place. Yeah, it's been much improved since you left. Right. I, <laughs> I can see why they wouldn't want me to come back. I, I was ruining it for everybody. You were. I... Yeah. But you, uh, would you go back there now? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I, you know, uh, I still, my heart's still in Scotland, mm. but, you know, the, the appeal of France uh, overcame all that. And, of course, I spent my, my winters in Spain now. Because you go even further south. As I get older, I go further and further south. I like the sun. Yeah, I know. I like the sun, too. I, I live in California, so I get it when <laughs> I can get it. But uh, <laughs> it hasn't rained here in about 15 years. Do you know that? 
Well, I, I, big drought right now. I turned up in Salt Lake City the other day and they hadn't rained for a long, long time. No. Suffering for a drought, half the, half the Salt Lake has evaporated. Right. And the day we arrived, it poured with rain, so they said, oh, the Scots have arrived. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if, if they really need it to rain in California, I'll wash my car. Then, ah, then it'll yeah, rain. It's fatal, that. Yeah, I know. The minute I wash my car... <laughs> <sighs> Good times. Uh, okay. Well, we're done. <laughs> but it was lovely to see you. Nice to see you too. Yes, yes. Right. The book's very good. Yeah, I'm glad. You I mean, like the first it. forty pages. I can't speak for the rest of it. Ah uh, well. But it's a very. You're off to a cracking start. <laughs> um, anyway, congratulations. You're selling a lot of these. This is the, uh, the second in a trilogy, isn't it? Yeah, the trilogy. Um, interesting story because the first book in the trilogy was rejected by every publisher in the UK, and it was actually my French publisher who picked it up and published it first, and it became a bestseller there. And then everybody else around the world bought it, and the oh. Brits last of all. Now, the Brits, you mean in London, the London London, publishing? London, yes, right, you know, the city-state of London, yeah, yes. Yeah, King, King's Landing. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm not a fan. But they've sold, now, uh, see, you get your revenge in the end because all those publishers that turned it down are watching the sales of these things and they've sold over a million copies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that coming, I go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please give us a call at 323-570-0059. Remember what I told you. All right, okay. The, uh, here, uh, back to perform Honey, which is available on the iTunes. This is not iTunes. This is a completely different way of... Yeah, it's, this is, look, it's complicated, but uh, here singing with the super talented Paul McDonald, please welcome the lovely Nikki Reed, everybody. <laughs>
But we don't, Nicky Reed, everybody, we gotta go.